everyone and welcome back to learning the Christmas collaboration with me. Yes, yes, yes. We are on to our second tune in our piece, which is Silent Night. So beautiful. Now, in some people's music, this first little bit will be written up the octave. In some people's music, it will be written down the octave. It just depends on which part you have. Um, also, if you have a little harp, feel free to play these things in different octaves. That's absolutely fine. We want to be as inclusive as possible here. So what I'm going to do is teach you the melody just in this one place around just above middle C. Um, and if you want to jump the first bit up, like it's written in the music, that's fine. If you want to play it up here anyway, that's fine too. Um, if you are able to play exactly what's written, great, go with that. So, Silent Night, here we go. This is a lovely little tune for us to learn together. We're going to start with a finger two on our G and our thumb goes next door to A. As soon as we've plucked this G, we're going to place two and three back, two back onto G and three onto our E string. So we have this phrase. Two on G, thumb on A, and as soon as we pluck this, we're thinking about getting round the black, so the G and the E. Ready, go. And again. Good, lovely. Now we're going to jump up to our D string. Now you could place round the red straight away. And repeat that D. The notes are quite long, so you've got plenty of time, you're not going to be doing. We definitely don't want that. But to avoid you doing that, you could, of course, not repeat your finger and have your finger too. Whatever you feel comfortable with. Second section is, second, next part, sorry, is the same idea. You can have your thumb on red and your two on G and play thumb. Thumb, two, or you can start with a, thing, a single red and then jump to that shape, okay? So whatever you feel comfortable with. If you're not sure, try out both and then decide. Okay, I went over those parts quite quickly there. Got a little bit excited. So let's go back. Two on G, thumb on A. Place around black. Repeat that part. you can repeat your thumb because it's a long note. Thumb on red and a G at the bottom. Okay, so then we are going to place our thumb on the red string, the C, but we're going to play the A twice. Now here, again, the first note is a, is a minimum or um, a two beat note. So you have quite a long time. We don't want, you've got plenty of time. So you don't have to repeat your fingers if you feel more comfortable. We're gonna place four fingers on. Now, at the end of this little section, we're gonna do a wee sneaky thumb is gonna come down beside the four. So we're gonna have this kind of shape for a little second. Um, which is maybe a bit tricky if you're new to these kind of m maneuvers. Bring your thumb down beside the four and you're going to play the first phrase. So that really helps us to make a lovely smooth sounding line. Bring the thumb down beside and place around the black. Now I don't know if any of you eagle eyes out there noticed that I just can't help not repeating my finger so I'm actually playing a three and then a two that's fine too thumb comes beside fabulous now you can play the same thing again but you can also add a very slight variation by just adding one note so a single A and then a, B, C, which is quite nice to add a little bit 
of variation. Great, so as you feel confident, add that little bit of variation in. Let's rewind and go back to the start. Two on G, thumb on A. Ready after two? Actually, let's go after three because this tune is in three, four. One, two, three. scale, thumb comes down beside the four, same thing, slight variation, three on A, three, two, one, two, three, thumb beside the four, fabulous, fabulous. Now for those of you who want to split between the hands, there are a few options here, but this is one of, this is a great tune, if you are thinking oh I'm not sure if I feel too confident about playing left hand this this tune actually feels nice under the right hand so of all the tunes that we're learning I would say try and put this one in your right hand and then eventually you'll be able to add some left to it it fits nicely so there are some options which we'll go over okay you're then going to place your thumb on the high black string high F but you're going to play the D string first Did you see, as soon as I plucked my second D, I'm placing my two back on the D and my three to the B. So really I'm placing a B triad. Place the triad. And then we're gonna have our two on C and a thumb on E. Now that is the main melody. That's the known melody, however, if you're actually reading the melody part, this is one of the only places that I give you guys a harmony note. So, in your part, the music actually reads. Okay, now again, we're all inclusive here guys, so if you have this the tune of Silent Night really in your head, then by all means you play that E. That's no problem at all. And of course, a number of you will be learning the melody here and then adding left hand, in which case you will want to play that E. But just so we know what's in your music. So to help us, I am going to play both notes so we don't get too confused. So you can pick which one you want to play along. And our last phrase, we have a thumb on red and round the black. This is almost like a C arpeggio, but we're gonna take the four away. Did you see me get my thumb on my G nice and quick? Last four notes. So we've got C, G, is all of Silent Night. And in the music it's played twice. If you read in the melody part, you have three bars rest between the repeats. And we will play it along to the guide track in a little minute so you can hear how that sounds. But first let's go over the all the melody together. So two on G, thumb on A, after three. One, two, three. Place around the black. Repeat the phrase. Round the red. Thumb on red. Thumb on red again, but play the E. Four fingers. Thumb comes down beside the four. We're going to repeat that phrase with the little variation A, B, C. F, but you're going to play the D. Place a B triad. G 
Choose your notes, guys. Thumb on red and round the black. Four fingers to finish. And there you have it. Now, before we play this along to the guide track, if you do want to split this across your fingers, I would just take out a couple of the bottom notes. So, for example, if you want to split it across your hands if you want to play it in the right hand that's great too if you want to change the fingering that's fab too let's have a little play of it along to the recording not the recording the guide track and what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it exactly as written in the music so I will be starting if you are playing higher up in the heart make sure you play nice and quiet it can be quite piercing if we and also remember there's already a lot of heart players involved in this. So we don't need to play super, super hard, super, super loud. There's lots of us. Plus the music says pianissimo. So we want nice and quiet. Okay, now obviously I'm starting this guide now right in the middle. But if you look at the music you see, we say harp three plays an introduction here. The speed has increased, but you have the intro to get ready. Now, if you aren't able to look at harp three part you won't know what that intro is but I think I will leave it as a surprise for those of you who aren't looking at harp three I was thinking about playing it there but it won't be on your guide you'll just hear your clicks like this three, four, two. we have eight your time to practice silent night enjoy it if you feel like adding a bit of left hand take a look at heart one 
Harp one is always playing the melody and adding bits of left hand in. Okay, and we will go on to the final tune.